Um, I want to know the secrets to a healthy marriage. So this is my wedding ring. And I don't know where you can see this. It says 14th December 2013. That's exactly when I got married. And yes, I'm not 15. Well, yes, I look young, but I'm actually 38, 13, 39. The reason I'm bringing this up is I've been married for about nine years. So uh, it's coming to my anniversary um, next month. And I'm planning for our 10th year anniversary next year. And we're planning to go to Vegas to renew our vows. So if I'm qualified to say this, these are five tips to a healthy and happy marriage. Tip number one, identify your WLD. It stands for word limits per day. Now I'm not a smart ass and a marriage counselor, but I only figured this out maybe about six, seven years ago. In a nutshell, WLD is your word limits per day. It's basically the amount of words you can possibly say per day uh, without going insane. A lot of you are like WTF, so let's give you an example. So to give you an example, I am the mister over here and my wife the missus. So for me, my WLD is about 9,000 words per day because I'm a self-confessed introvert. You might be saying, hey, you don't seem like an introvert. I am, I enjoy my own time. I don't like going to parties. I might be a very confident introvert, but nonetheless, I'm an introvert. My missus, which is my wife, her WLD is 30,000 words a, a day or even more. She's an extrovert. Let me show you a timeline and how WLD works and how conflict can arise. Now to give you an example about six to seven, eight years ago, I was working in office. Obviously I had some partners, right now I'm solo, but obviously back then I was working with people and I had to go to a bloody office. In the morning, you know, I'll chat to my wife and basically, you know, about a hundred words will be spoken. In the office because it's busy and you know, I talk to a lot of people about, you know, 7,000 words would have been used. And then, you know, there's socials, lunch and all that stuff, maybe another, you know, 500 words. Now you add this up, 7,000 plus 100 plus 500. At night time when I see my missus, 9,000 minus 7,600, I have about 1,400 words left before the introvert me goes insane. So on the same page in the morning when we exchange probably 100 words, office, she's an extra, she talks more than me, 14,000 words at exchange. At lunch and socials, 3,000 words I exchange. She clocks about 17,100 words. Her WLD is 30,000 words. She has about 12,900 WLDs left. Now this is where a lot of couples get into conflicts. The wifey's WLD has not been reached yet. My wifey's WLD is this much. And my WLD is this much. My wifey wants to yeah, 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 yeah. And I want to mm, leave me alone. Now imagine if your partner and yourself don't know your WLDs. Well, a lot of things arises. But on both sides, there's frustration. For example, the mister, uh, the wife talks a lot and complains about her. Whilst the missus thinks the husband doesn't care and doesn't want to talk. And what does this all equal to? Oh, maybe he or she doesn't love me. And I realized this through my own ingenious, you know, thinking. <laughs> I probably read it from somewhere. You start to realize, okay, she has her needs to talk because she's an introvert. And on the flip side, she understands my need to just be alone in my own room to do my own thing. Tip number two, take this very seriously. It's called the seven years itch. I think it's statistics or anything, but any relationship, marriage, de facto or not, up to the seventh year, that's when things get a bit mm, downhill. And one of your partners have a midlife crisis or there's a career change, something big or drastic happens. Obviously we pass our seven years itch, but I think the seven year itch is always around the corner. What I mean to say is, your relationship is like the boat, the Titanic. There's always iceberg ahead of you. And you must be aware that you gotta hit it one day. But there are preventive measures. Leads to number three, spend money on couple mindset courses. Learn your five signs of love languages. Go to UPW, which is like, you know, Tony Robbins, unleash your power within. Go to with uh, the thing called Dating with Destiny. Might cost you twenty to even thirty thousand dollars to invest in all these, you know, quasi la la land, you know, up in the airy fairy kind of mindset thing. Actually, it's an investment when you think about it in hindsight. It's like you're investing in your marriage. You do cool things together as a couple. You know, you walk on fire. You learn your love signals. At least number four, we've been wondering, well, what are the signals? Well, there's five things that I've learned. These are borrowed from Tony Robbins. Five human needs, certainty, uncertainty, variety, connection, growth, significance. For example, my wifey loves certainty. She likes everything that is predictable. She likes habits. She likes routine. As for me, I'm a very easily bored person. I need variety. I need uncertainty. And most of all for me, I need significance. I do things primarily to give myself significance. For example, why the hell would I be doing TikTok? You know, significance. As for my wifey, she wants routine. 
boring stuff, organization. She doesn't need significance. So imagine if you don't understand these five signs and you think, hey, my wife needs significance and she thinks I need certainty. Huh. There ensues a lot of argument. Lastly, number five, even if you're gone on for five, 10 or 10 or even 20 years in your marriage, never ever forget weekly date nights. Especially when you have kids. We have two kids, but still we're gonna make time for date nights. And oh, if you wanna quote me, this is my own proverb, which is don't go finding someone new to do all things you've done before. Go find something new to do with someone you've known for a long time. Which means if you guys are still in love uh, or have some sort of spark, just stay with your partner. Don't go looking elsewhere for another partner thinking, oh my God, maybe the grass is greener. It isn't. Because essentially you guys will find a new person and you gotta do all that old shit again that you did with your previous partner. So guys, those are my five tips. Jump in the comments. Maybe there's something I don't know. Maybe a tip that you can tell me. I'd love to read about it.